Welcome back. Seems like I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster. Because he knows all the passwords. Yes, running joke. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Welcome back, me. Guess what? Couple things. We are in session two. That's right. As of the ending of the last episode, I'm officially done with the first session. And I'm on to the second one. Actually, now that I've said that, I should clarify. It's being recorded much later. Now, uh... Heh. I figured out that the reason I'm yellow is because I'm playing on easy mode instead of, you know, normal mode like normal people do. So, you know, yellow means, like, scared. I get it. Next thing is, I am now on controller with a custom mapped uh, control setup that I made myself. And let me tell you, I've just started and oh my god, this is already so much more fun. Everything's intuitive and stuff. Press A to jump. I got D-pad stuff to open up the... Okay, so the menu stuff doesn't quite work yet, but there will be time for that later. Actually, I've just realized it's because I bound it to M instead of Q. Hold on. All right, it works now. <laughs> Look at how quick that was. So simple. Yeah, it was weird was it first. Um, the bind program I was using wasn't letting me jump uh, past minimum jump level. Like this was the highest I could jump, just a tap. And I was trying to set up to make it so that if you held it, it would let you jump farther. But then I uh, I tried again and it it's working now, which is odd. So with no further ado, oh wait, one further ado. Um, I have, on the right controller, I have a single press, so I can just press this as much as I want to, to shoot. Single shot, I should have said. However, on the left trigger, I actually have programmed in a turbo. It's not really, programmed in is a bit charitable towards me. There was a turbo setting already in there, although I did adjust the length of the turbo and then shortly afterwards unadjusted it because the adjusted length of the turbo did not work as well as the default. But yeah, I've now got a turbo set up for shooting with, so that's fun. Probably gonna be using that most of all. What's weird about it is like, sometimes it does this, and I don't understand why that is. Like, see how it's now just like, shooting a lot slower than before, and now it's shooting normally? Wait, is it the direction I'm facing in? It is. What is it about that? I've just now figured that out, that, that I have to be facing left for it to be working at proper speed. What's going on there? I would love to find out. Unfortunately, I have no clue where to get started with that. But I do know how to get started with this episode, which is, uh, we're gonna go and we're going to uh, get some jellyfish juice to make a bomb. So we can open up and we can rescue this dude so we can get to wherever we're going next. Wait, now it's... Now it's happening this way as well. See, that's what I did last time. <laughs> and last time I had to, to drag the... the What was it? Uh, robot. Robot. I had to drag him out of the ground again. But this time I thought before I did that, so I saved here just in case I died again. Luckily, you know, you can tell that was a very good choice of mine. So we gotta get some more jellyfish juice. I don't know if I already mentioned that or if I left that to the imagination. Oh, 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 oh ho! We're already off to a great start with those jukes. Okay, so before I thought that I was gonna need more jellyfish juice if I ever wanted to go through this uh, fireplace again, which I was wondering about, cause like if I have to use a jellyfish juice to get through the fireplace and I can only have one jellyfish juice at a time, then how am I gonna get, how am I gonna go through this fireplace and still have jellyfish juice left over for the bomb? But, what I neglected to notice earlier is that it's got this, it's got this uh, fan here. So now I can use that to jump instead of uh, going through the, what was it, uh, fireplace, yeah, that was the word. I'm, and also, uh, bound to my uh, shoulder keys are the switch gun buttons, which it's still 
this is just due to me being a noob, but it's it's still a little bit, uh, I'm still a little bit new to it, so I might not be great at that. But yeah, so I just gotta, gotta make sure my fireball was maxed after I accidentally screwed it up. Alright, let's just... Cool if I can move while still looking up. Oh wait, I can do it sort of. I can. I can do it by. Hey, th there's once again benefits of controllers. Well, okay, that wasn't quite a benefit. I should have bound these the other way around, actually. All right, let's try that. Okay, I'm shooting it. I'm shooting it good speed. Actually, wait, now I'm not. That's so weird. Okay, well that- I was hoping it maybe would kill it in an instant, but it didn't. Close enough, though. Nice! Got that J-Juice, as the cool kids call it. I'm just kidding, I don't know any cool kids, and if I did, I don't think they'd call it that. Alright, let's- let's get a bomb and let's break this guy out of his house. What? Does this, this plot point make much sense, now that I think about it? Okay, gonna head to Chaco's house, and I'm actually gonna save real quick. Hello, Chaco. Also, I realized, uh, the reason that Balrog turned into a frog is for the, uh, the pun. Because his name, in that case, uh, would be Balfrog. Which is like a funny little joke. Oh wow, I'm really doing bad at grabbing that, huh? Well, I got it eventually. And getting it eventually is better than not getting it at all. Also, this is an old Xbox 360 controller. So, uh... You're gonna hear a little bit of squeaking. But if you watch my videos, uh, you probably already hear on the reg uh, a whole bunch of clacking from my really clacky keyboard. So, I hope that's not too much of a problem. Oh, this is gonna be- this game is gonna be so much easier now that I've got this turbo bound. But it's weird that it only works at that, like, speed sometimes. I, can, I need to figure out what's the cause of that. Alright, I got all your ingredients. Nice, please commence making this bomb immediately. Alright, thank you. I don't know why- I don't know why the screen needed to fade out like that. It's weird. Alright. I've- I've noticed- I noticed while I was editing episodes that I- I've been going, like, over here to this area and using this... This jump thing to, uh... Jump thing. This fan... To go up when I didn't have to. Now, uh, I figured out what, you know, that dot was in the videos, and this is the mouse. And it disappears to me on screen when I'm done using it, but I'm, I think that in Camtasia, uh, the recorder at least, it shows up regardless. So I'm just gonna get that out of there so we don't have to see it anymore. Alright, let me refill that and let me save real quick before I bomb into this dude's house. Well, okay, I was- I was hoping I'd just bypass them all by floating over, but that isn't what happened. Alright, let's plant it. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 this is- this is Sue's brother. You did well, boy. Just one look and I knew. I knew you could do it. Um, my name is Kazu- Kazuma Sakamoto. But please call me Kazuma. Luckily, I was able to escape from the doctor, but then, I was teleported here. It felt like I was about to die of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, have you heard of a place called Mamiga Village? No, I've never heard of it. Sue? Never heard of her. You know Sue? No, I just said I don't, dude. I see. Obviously you don't. So you've come to get me in place of Sue. I understand. Let's go. Take me to the village. Oh? Uh-oh. Is that you, Kazuma? Professor Booster, so you're safe. Okay. Okay, I thought this dude was like a bad guy. He looks like a bad guy. And how's Sue? Is she safe? <laughs> nope. This boy will get us there. Oh. Do you know him? Hmm. No. Uh, actually, we just met. Anyway, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. Hey, that... 
that kind of sounded like, um... That kind of maybe sounded like he does know me. Okay, this dude's seeming treacherous. Because, like, how would he know that I'd lost my memory enough to be like... Actually, no, I don't know him. Hmm. Okay, so the doctor learned about the red flowers, and we're worried about Sue because Sue's a Mimiga. Kazuma, the doctor has commenced snatching the Mimiga. Do you understand what this means? So the doctor in the war? That's right. And now we're the only ones who can stop him. But how are we going to stop the doctor? I have an idea. At any rate, let's hurry and get back to Sue. We'll discuss when we're there. Boy, that's... I want you to come too. Okay. Boy, that was, uh... Severely vague of you, sir. All those things you just said? Both of you, in fact. All those things you two just said. Can I just, like, teleport back? Aww. It'd be fun if I could just teleport straight back to... Mimiga Village. I'm counting on you. Lead us to Mimiga Village. Kazuma. Yes? Does that thing work? I hope so. So here's my question. If Sue's a Mimiga, how's her brother a human? Like, I'm guessing it's an adoption scenario. Which is, you know, valid. It won't stop. Oh, this is... This is so great. Literally, my only complaint is I should probably have uh, ended up binding the... Uh, the turbo shoot key to the left. Or to the right trigger instead of the left. Just because of how much more apt I am to use the right trigger than the left in just... There's a reason it's, it's the shoot button in most video games. Ironically, I'm not actually uh, right-handed, so this should be better for me, but it's not. I wonder if I should do like that speedrun strats thing that I did with the uh, the first episode. Or was it the second episode? I think it was the second. Yeah, it was the second, because the first episode ended with me killing uh, Igor, if I'm not mistaken. I already made that joke. Hello. See, I would be able to say, luckily, I have this, uh, this turbo that lets me shoot all of you really fast, but, uh, it's not working properly. Cool. Aw, why'd you do that? And now all the loot's died. Can you give me some... No, I'd like some, some gold, please. Also, apparently in the Cave Story community, everybody calls these Doritos, which is wild, because I like I had that thought, but then I was like, can I be a bit more original about that? Oh, <laughs> the boat crashed. Oh, it's the bike. Whoopsie. Yeah, but like, oh wait, I just realized there's a dude up there. Actually, I think I talked to this dude the first time I played and I forgot he was there. Oh. You're a soldier from the surface, hasn't the war ended already? No matter. If you want to venture any further, be mindful of those big blue critters. They'll try to crush you. Thanks, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's the same thing with, um, Garfield from the Adventure Zone. I had, uh, uh teleport to Arthur's house. Like, I had the idea at first when I listened to it, like, oh, that Garfield, kind of like the cat, and it, like, went through my, my, went through my head. I forgot the word for head, which... Ironically, gives you a clue as to the state of my head. We're weapons of death? That's impossible! I am the ultimate life form! I'm never gonna stop making that joke. Yes. The doctor plans to use the red flower to have all of you attack the humans. Why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Taroka to eat the red flower? The doctor is still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if, if he finds the red flower, Taroka will be... <sighs> She'll be filled with rage and turn into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen. Taroko is like Maria. To the shadow of King. <laughs> that's... A, man, that's a sentence that doesn't make sense unless you know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright. Uh, I really thought we weren't going to make it, but we did. Kazuma, yay. Okay, so Sue's been released. And Professor Booster. Okay, so apparently everybody knows Professor Booster. How have you been? Surviving. Huh. 
and that Mamiga is? <laughs> he, did, he, he did that. He did like an edgy turn away from the camera, not from the camera, from like the character. That's hilarious. Unironically, love that. Love that bit. Yeah, his name is King. He's the leader of this village and also a friend of mine. Many Mamiga used to live here in Mamiga Village. That's why it's called Mamiga Village. But most of them were taken away by the doctor. Here, he uh, plans to call, rename it Doctor Village. King's friends were also. That's why they don't call it King Village. But yeah, you know, they they were like. The entire fandom was like, oh, Garfield, like the cat. And it passed through my head, like, when I listened to it. But I was quickly like, okay, but I'll be a bit more original about it. And then the new, uh, it's not new anymore, but the uh, Murder on the Rockport Limited uh, graphic novel came out. Taroko is a weapon of death. I won't allow it. The new graphic novel came out, the second arc. Uh, and then the design of Garfield in it was just very obviously the cat who's like wearing ninja armor or whatever, wearing a whole bunch of stuff to like mask his identity, even though it's obvious it's him. And because of the Garfield headcanon and how much like Griffin personally isn't like an enormous fan of it, he has, uh, he's explicitly refrained from describing Garfield's appearance. Good work. The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. Thank you. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. Okay, well, what, what, who do I need to interact with to move along in the story? Okay, it's Sue. Welcome back. Seems like I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster. Because he knows all the passwords. Yes, running joke. Speaking of running jokes, Griffin refuses to describe Garfield's appearance. Like, he, And when he has to, he refers to him as like ethereal, unknowable, unseeable. So I figured for the graphic novel, if they weren't at least going to, like, make him some sort of unknowable, unseeable being, they would at least do, like, a gag where, like, they mask his appearance, like, everywhere. Like, there's always, like, a tree branch or, like, a, an outstretched object in his in his fantasy Costco that's covering up his face so you can't see who he is. But they didn't do that. And I feel like that was just a wasted opportunity. Professor. Uh-huh. Sue. Our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. Uh-oh. Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have... Wait, I, why did I give this guy a, a voice? Actually, if, I, if I'm going to give him a voice, it'd be like a, an old dude voice. As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them, but it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in Sand Zone. I have heard that the red flowers are... Why would you say the location is in Sand Zone and then like afterwards be like... Probably. Sand Zone? So if we go there, will we find the doctor? Ahem. I fear that it's the doctor's minions that will presumably go. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, Sand Zone is a very dangerous place. If we were to go, whether or not we can make it back alive isn't- Are you giving up then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. You- Of course! Of course! I have to go do everybody's dirty work in this game! <laughs> what is he? Hmm, well, he's an armed recon robot that was to- Oh, I'm a robot! That was dispatched to this island ten years ago. What do you mean this island? A robot? Maybe that's how I should have reacted. <gasps> a robot? That makes sense, actually, seeing the fan art I've seen. I had heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Hmm, something tells me I'm gonna find out the exact details. Perhaps one of them- Professor. I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. Hmm. You are the most ideal among us here to search the island. Please help us. I don't get to say no. He didn't even give me an option. All right. Let's go. Let's go to Sand Zone. It's a teleporter. Sand Zone. Teleporter Sand Zone? Yes. I'm sure by the, the enormous dinosaur skull that it must be a very, very safe and great place to be. Yo! Oh, it's another robot. <laughs> that, well, <laughs> that was pretty fast. <laughs> I thought all the robots were destroyed. Split seconds later meets a robot. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, 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 these are, I just thought those were blocks. Okay. Luckily I got, you know, turbo so I can shoot them easier. Boy, so this game was already on easy mode, and now that I've introduced this turbo uh, into my game, it's automatically become, like, super easy mode. Childlike scrub mode, which is uh, exactly the mode I have to play video games in, because I'm bad at them. 
That's not a. That's not one of those really terrible video games, video games jokes because those got old real fast. Okay, once you pass them on the x-axis, or not on the x-axis, once you pass them on the y-axis, they that's when they see you. It doesn't matter how close to them you are. So of course, they're plastered all along this location where you have to jump to get through. Oh, I can only jump that far. AKA, you're constantly traveling up the y-axis. Okay, there's a house over here. It's a bar. It's not a bar. Okay. <laughs> ah! I figured I'd sing it. Hey! I just met you! <laughs> and this is crazy. Look, there's a visitor after such a long time. I know what you want to do, but you better wake up. This is all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. The Mamiga aren't the enemy. No way, really? They're totally harmless. I feel sorry for you. I'm on the Mimiga side and not gonna lose to you. Hey, hey, I'm also on the Mimiga side. Whoa, hey! Wait, what if I... I've heard in some communities that fireballs are very good at doing a lot of damage. If you shoot them fast enough. Okay, I won. That was fast. Mimiga bodyguard. You got me. We've been defeated. Do you plan on disposing of the Mimiga? <laughs> what if I answered yes here? I'm not gonna. Oh! Well, I guess that was a big mistake. Are you on the Mimiga side too? I like that they're like, oh, the Mimigas are, you know, they're totally harmless and they're not, uh, enemies. And then she pulls out a gun and she's like, but I'm totally, I'm not totally harmless and I am an enemy. I know, it's not their fault. I'm Curly Brace. I've been with these little ones since before I can remember. Okay, like, quote, and like, Curly Brace, I get it. I don't recall anything before that. Apparently it's so-called memory loss. I may have been a mega killer, just like the other robots. Ooh, you probably- I should give her an accent. I'll do British. Give her the- give her the old Undyne treatment. Oh boy, you have to be a real OG fan of my channel to know that reference. Your Polish doll is trashed pretty badly. Actually, my- My- my British accent's off today, so maybe I won't. Want to trade it for my machine gun? Uh, yes. Nice. Nice. Cool, I have a better gun now. <laughs>